Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have yet another Abercrombie try-on haul. I had said this in my last Abercrombie try-on haul that they literally launched a bunch of new stuff right as I posted that video and I made another purchase. I have a ton of new denim. I had a ton of new denim in my last video, which I will link that video down below if you want to check that one out. But then they launched even more and I grabbed a couple other pieces of denim that worked so great and I really love. So I'm going to share those as well. Um, I actually already shared them on Instagram. I have a whole highlight reel of Abercrombie denim on my Instagram at absolutely airs. So if you want to check out all the denim like compared to each other, they are on my highlight reel on Instagram. But I'm also going to share the new denim in this video. I also have some sweatshirts, some really comfy stuff, and I also grabbed a couple like springy summery pieces, which is kind of crazy because we are actually about to get a huge snowstorm of like 10 inches of snow and I am going to be trying on like springy tops but we're possibly taking a vacation so it is justified but I have some great new stuff everything will be linked down below in the description box so let's go ahead and get started all right so first up I got this hooded tunic sweatshirt and if you guys saw my last try on you guys know I got the crew neck tunic sweatshirt and I love this sweatshirt. It is so cute. Um, this is the cream color, but I just wanted to share that it is the same exact thing except this one has a hood. <laughs> it's a hoodie. Um, this is the color tan. I went with my true size small. It is so just like soft and thick and well made. <laughs> I love this sweatshirt. Um, I actually debated on this color or a, they have like a light heathered gray one. It also comes in a bunch of other colors as well. I will say, however, with the crew neck in this, if you are a bit taller, um, maybe five, seven and taller, maybe five, five, I'm not sure. I'm five, two for reference. And this is the length on me. I feel comfortable wearing a legging with this. Um, but if you are a bit taller, it might be a little bit shorter on you and it might not feel so tunic length and great for legging. So I just wanted to point that out. It's very oversized though. Um, super comfortable. And this is again, the size small. All right, next up, my favorite t-shirts are back and I grabbed a new color. Um, these are called the Knotted Crewnecks. I think I did share this in my previous try on. I shared the white and the black because they had launched the white and the black and then they came out, of course, with a bunch of new colors and I grabbed the tan color. It is so good. I love the material of them. They're not a paper thin, tissue thin t-shirt. They have a little bit of like, substance and they're a little bit thicker but they're incredibly soft and comfortable i love them <laughs> they're like my favorite t-shirts they're a little more i don't want to say fitted because they're not a fitted t-shirt but they're a little they're not as like oversized i feel like everything is either like super oversized or like suction tight fitted and this is like the perfect in between it has a nice kind of more fitted arm and then the body has a little bit of drape to it not super boxy just a little bit of drape um, it does come knotted up but I find that I just don't knot it and I actually just front tuck it and it's like the perfect t-shirt <laughs> I love this t-shirt so much I cannot say enough Good things um, and I am wearing a size small in this one all right next up they came out with more washes of the high-rise mom jean and I grabbed this really distressed one um, I thought it was really cute I really love their high-rise mom jeans every time they come out with the new washes I'm like oh, I have to grab them all um, they sell out so fast um, I'm hoping this one is still in stock they do come in a curve love as well if you prefer more room through the hips I get a regular high-rise mom jean and then I always well lately I've been sizing down to the 25 short um, so I'm usually a 26 
but for the high rise mom jean i have been sizing down one and they just fit a little bit better they are a stiffer more rigid denim um they're not really stretchy and like legging feeling so they have a stiffer feel but i love them once you wear them like a couple times they just start to like mold to you and they feel so buttery soft and just really comfortable so i love them um this is this and then i actually have another wash that i'm gonna share as well all right, so here is the other high-rise mom jean. This one is a little more of like a bleached out, really like, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna wear these a lot towards the spring summertime because I feel like they look really good with the tan, but I love them, they're so comfortable. Again, I went with the 25 short in these. They're a little bit of a cleaner denim, not so like ripped up like the other ones. They do have a little bit of like distressing along the bottom, but they are super comfortable. Like I said, they're very like, I don't, I don't want to say acid wash, but very almost like that bleached out look. Very 80s, I feel like. Very 80s, 90s. So um, I love them. Super comfortable and a great high-rise mom jean. All right, next up, I have a couple of graphic sweatshirts and a t-shirt. They have been launching a ton of like graphic sweatshirts and t-shirts, and I am usually... I am not a graphic t-shirt, sweatshirt type person. Um, I love my Anina Bing ones. Those are like my favorite. <laughs> I just wear those over and over. And I not so much like, I don't like a ton of graphic stuff. I just kind of stick with my one, my Bing ones and that's it. But Abercrombie came out with a couple of really cute ones that I kind of really liked. So I grabbed them. Um, so this one says London. It has the Abercrombie Fitch at the bottom, very small, but it kind of looks like an Anina Bing one. So I was like, oh, that's really cute. And if there was one place I could travel in the world to, it would be right here. If you live in London, oh, I'm so jealous. I desperately want to visit the UK. I desperately want to. Um, one day I will, but I really loved this sweatshirt. It is so incredibly soft and comfortable. Um, I went with a size small, and this one does come in other colors and graphics, but this certain, like the London one, only comes in this blue. So I really like it, super cute, kind of out of my comfort zone, but I am really excited to kind of style it. All right, next up is this graphic tee, and clearly I had to get it as I have lived in the Chicagoland area my entire life, um, but I love it. It was a charcoal gray and white. I was like, of course, I have to get that, and you guys, this is the softest t-shirt I think I've ever felt in my entire life. It's like the perfect combination of like softness, not too thick, not too thin, just like in complete comfort. I love this t-shirt. I think it comes in a couple other graphics that I'm probably just gonna wear so I can wear them to bed because that's how comfortable they are. Um, it is an oversized t-shirt. This is the small, it runs quite long. You can wear it with leggings or biker shorts or um, you can easily knot it up, tuck it into high-waisted stuff, but oh, I love this t-shirt. It is so cute, it is so good, and it is also my home. <laughs> All right, and then this is the last sweatshirt that I grabbed, and unfortunately, I think this one is selling out really fast. So if you want it, you gotta grab it, because it's selling out, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I just love the coloring, and it's just very, it's not so, again, it's not like Abercrombie and Fitch, but it, it was something, you guys, this is the softest sweatshirt ever. It is so incredibly soft. Um, for this one, I actually did size down for the extra small. So the London one, I was in a normal size small. And this one, I am wearing the extra small. And I actually think I like the extra small just a little bit better. The other one's a little bit oversized and billowy, which I still will wear and love, but I really like the fit of this one a little better. So. Love it, super soft and cozy, but like I said, this one is selling out quite quickly, so I will link this one down below. Um, I actually think this print comes in a t-shirt as well, so I will try to find that and link that one too. All right, next up is a pair of black skinny jeans that I don't really have a distressed pair, so I was like, I think I really want something that's a little more distressed. I kind of have been like phasing out the distressed denim, but I really, 
kind of wanted a black pair. I don't know. I, I'm I'm on the fence still, but I really like them. They're super comfortable. They are a high-waisted, it's called the high-waisted super skinny ankle jean. I got a 26 short, which is my normal size, and they're really stretchy. They're really comfortable. It just has the distressing right there, and then it's pretty much a clean denim all the way around. So super comfortable, really love these. I will link them down below. All right, and then this is the last pair of denim that I'm going to share. This is called the High Rise Skinny Jean, and compared to the other, the black pair that I just shared, this is a more stiffer, rigid denim that kind of like eventually molds you and soften over time, whereas the last pair was like that kind of stretchy, like almost leggingy feel of a denim. So I love these and these, I swear, <laughs> you could put the name Levi's on these and I would be like, that's a Levi. So they are so similar to another pair of Levi's that I wear all the time. I love them. I actually ordered these in a 25 short originally. I decided to exchange it for the 26. I think going to true to size with these was a better choice. The other ones I just felt too like sucked into. So these are perfect. I got the 26 short. I love them. They're so comfortable. Um, I'll come up close here. You guys can see the wash. They're like a washed out. They truly look like a Levi's. So I love them. They're so good. I will link them down below. They come in a bunch of other washes as well, but this is the lighter wash and it doesn't have a ton of distressing, just a little bit at the bottom, but love these. Next up is a really great basic that I found at Abercrombie. It is a long sleeve tunic length kind of oversized t-shirt. I love this one. I got it in the black, comes in a bunch of other colors as well, but it is really, really long, perfect for leggings, um, perfect for bike shorts. Actually, the model in the picture had this on with a pair of bike shorts and I was like, yes, I love that look. I am into the bike short trends because they're so comfy, especially as it gets warmer out. I just, I really like it. I really like that look. Um, but this one has a slit on the side and then obviously it runs really long and oversized. I'm wearing a size small in this and I love it. Super soft, super comfortable. It's a little bit thinner than the other t-shirts that I've been wearing, but really great quality and great for leggings which is a plus. All right, next up is this cute little spring top. It feels so weird wearing something like this when it's like, it's literally about to snowstorm outside. So I love it though. I think it's so cute if you're going on a vacation or a trip or something. Um, I just think this is really cute to have um, or grab it now and save it for the spring and summertime or maybe you live somewhere warm already and I'm jealous of you and you can wear it now. Um, but I love the material of it. It's kind of like this really pretty, I'm gonna kind of come up close, um, kind of like linen look to it. So I think it is a linen material and then it's kind of like a beigey cream color, has stretchy parts all over it, very square neck, kind of like a basic peasant top. Um, however, this is a small, it runs very short and slightly cropped. So um, it is a little bit flowy, but not overly flowy, but it is a little bit shorter. So just keep that in mind. It hits right at my high-waisted jeans right here. But I love it. I think it's so, so cute for the spring and summer. All right, next up is probably a no-go for me. <laughs> I actually just put this on for the first time. I was like, oh, it's so cute. And it is really cute, but I just feel like an old lady in a crop top, <laughs> which is a fact. Um, so I, I really like it. It's just not my style. Um, unfortunately, it's just too short. It hits right at the high-waisted jean part um maybe even peaks my skin out a little bit but the color is beautiful the material is really beautiful it is a crocheted top the color is so pretty um it's actually also lined from here down which is really nice as well for a crocheted top like this i think it's really cute if you're going on a beach vacation somewhere um i just feel a little too old for it i don't know it's not totally my style so I will link this one down below in case you are interested, but unfortunately this was a big thumbs down. 
All right, guys, so that is it for my Abercrombie try on. Everything is listed and linked down below in the description box. Like this video if you did like it. Subscribe and stay a while if you're not. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.